My name is Casco Zero Vlogs, and today I'm gonna give you guys nine reasons why trans women aren't real women. Let's get into the video right now. Maniac for that trap. <laughs> So normally I will give like a long introduction in the beginning, but with this video, I'm gonna get straight to the point. So the ninth reason why, uh, you know, these trans women aren't real women is because they can't get pregnant, all right? Now I'm not a woman, but I can only imagine the psychological effects it has on a woman to think about every single time they have sex, are they pregnant? Regardless, they have all these cramps and emotional stuff going on, right? They got eggs inside their bellies and stuff like that, right? They got all this stuff going on. And then they have to worry about, is that a sign for them being pregnant? Now, us dudes, we just bang, we're done. And then we hope we don't get a call that she's pregnant, right? But a chick, right? She has to go through all this stuff that she naturally goes through. Oh, I missed my period. Oh, it's there, it's not there. It's, am I pregnant? I don't know what's going on. Now don't get me wrong. A lot of these women hold this um, responsibility terribly. I'm not really counting those women, but I'm just talking about the actual natural responsibility that a woman would have, you know, if women were responsible and accountable, that is, for them actually having to worry about getting pregnant. Now, there are some chicks who, uh, you know, that do carry themselves well, and they're not pregnant, but I can only imagine the psychological effect for women, especially to have a one-night stand, I'm not saying that's okay, but just stating the facts that they have a one-night stand, or they're with their guy, and their guy doesn't want a kid, or etc., and they have to worry about, am I pregnant? Like, trans women don't have to worry about that. The eighth thing I want to go over is that, um, so I've heard a lot of women say, for no reason, especially when they start their monthly, their uh, nipples hurt, their breasts hurt, they're always really tender, stuff like that, right? And at least the research that I've done, I don't see that in trans women, right? They don't have to worry about that. Like, I think that trans women, they want to, you know, enjoy all the stuff, all the all the beautiful stuff of being a woman, so to speak, but they don't actually want to, or they don't actually experience any of the real stuff of being a woman, the stuff that makes a woman a woman. Like, for me, I don't want, if my, if my nipples were hurting, my breasts were hurting, I don't know, I, I couldn't deal with it personally, right? But I think that it's, it's just a fairy tale. They want to be like, oh, I'm a woman, I got breasts, and they just have a man's chest that's pushed out. And this isn't hate speech, I'm just stating the facts. It is a man's chest who has been pushed out uh, fat guys, I guess they got breasts too, right? But if it doesn't produce milk, it is not breast, all right? Period. It can look like a breast, it can replicate a breast, but unless it's producing milk, it's not authentically breast. And I know you can do all this hormone stuff and all stuff. I'm not counting that, that atrocities, all right? I'm not counting those abominations. I'm not counting that stuff. That, that's some man-made, artificial, sins against God type stuff, okay? I'm not counting that stuff. So that stuff doesn't count to me. I mean, naturally, you cannot naturally produce it, then it's not breast, okay, by definition. So I wanna make sure that's clear. Their, their breasts don't hurt, all right? I've never at least read an article, a form, or the research that I've done, I haven't seen where their breasts hurt because they're monthly. And I wonder why, because they don't get periods, all right? They don't get periods, it doesn't exist for them, so why would their breasts hurt? Maybe after surgery or something like that, maybe they take it too many tea shots or something like that, but, or should I say estrogen shots, but their breasts isn't actually hurt. It isn't a natural occurring thing like how they, how women get cramps, all right? It doesn't happen. Okay, so let's talk about one of the biggest things that no one talks about when it comes to this whole thing, all right? And like I said, this isn't a hate speech. I'm just stating facts, all right? I think whether you like it or not, it doesn't change the fact of it, okay? I wanna make sure that's very, very clear. If you wanna be a trans man or trans woman, do your thing, I don't care. I'm just stating the facts on why it isn't the same. You can't compare it to a real woman. It just isn't the same. And here's one of the main reasons. Mood swings. Women are crazy. All right, they're, they're, they don't make any sense. Being inside the mind of a woman and you're a man, that is literally like going to hell, okay? That is like a sentence, okay? When you've done a bad crime, it's going into a woman's mind. If, if, if a man can go into a woman's mind or women can go into other woman's mind, that would literally be a sentence, all right, for a crime. All right, I wanna make sure it's very, very clear. The mood swings, they make no sense. You can say one thing and they flip out, all right? That, that, that no, okay? That is that is one of the main things of being a woman. And because they have the, man, the, the mind of a man, when they're a trans woman, they're still a dude, all right? They're still 
a dude. And that's one of the main things I really want you guys to take from this is the mood swings. You women know what I'm talking about. You guys make no sense a lot of the time and you have to be right in the argument regardless of logic or the facts. If you are making sense, you're not a woman, <laughs> okay? I'm sorry, you're not a woman, all right? If you make sense all the time, you're not a woman. And being a, just an annoying little brat, it doesn't make you a woman. It's far more complicated than that. And like I said, on this channel, I, I, I get a woman's case. I really do. But I also understand women. And uh, yeah, they don't make any sense, all right? It, it just doesn't work. The next thing I want to go over is uh, the obvious, periods, all right? Being a woman is much more than being pretty, um, being a bad bee, hot girl summer, all this stuff. The whole makeup and all that crap, that's that's like for men. That's not being a woman, all right? There's far, it's far more complicated being a woman. And in fact, I would think that it's far more complicated being a woman than a man. A man's job is very simple, a very stressful job, a very difficult job. Um, but it, I think it's much more, much more simple, simpler, should I say, much more simpler than being a woman. A woman is far more complicated because they don't even understand themselves. Once a man hits maturity, and he understands what works for him, he things will start to make sense, all right? Being a guy, once once you finally get it together, it's just together. But being a woman is far more complicated. They, they Their mind does something else, all right? And one of the uh, effects of this is having a period, all right? So they get the cramps, their stomach's always hurting, chicks, my stomach hurt, is this something I ate? Oh, I think my eggs are coming out again. That's the whole thing, all right? And if you aren't experienced the pains, all right, of actually getting periods, then you, you can't call yourself a real woman. I'm sorry, you can't. You cannot call yourself a woman because I couldn't imagine myself bleeding <laughs> like for a week, all right? Like, I'm literally losing my mind. <laughs> and here's the worst part, right? Here's the worst part. And then when they stop bleeding, right? They stop bleeding, they go through a whole other thing. You know, it's called menopause, right? So it's like, they're dead if they do, they're dead if they don't, and oh, they got the eggs coming out, they lose their mind. They stop having eggs coming out, they're losing their mind. If you're not experiencing that, you're not a real woman. It is the truth. I'm not about to play fairy tale with you guys. You're not a real woman. That's what they gotta deal with. And make sure it's clear. I'm not like putting women on a pedestal and all that stuff. I'm just stating facts on a woman's body, biological body, and their perspective of actually being a woman. All right? Here's the next thing, all right? So, trans woman, you know, it's a man who transitions to a female, all right? That's fine. That's, that's fine. But at the end of the day, they still have man strength. Women don't. Imagine this, all right? And I'm talking to the men here. Imagine being physically, physically um, inferior to men to the point where where they can force themselves on you, all right? Imagine being that inferior to a man, where even if you're a big chick, even if you're a more like, like masculine chick, like the average guy can still overpower you. Imagine that. But when you're a trans woman, you still got man strength. I mean, I don't know why someone want to do that to a trans woman anyway, but let's just say it happens, okay? I'm pretty sure there's some sick Fs out here that do want to do that to some, some trans women. You can still defend yourself. You still have man strength. You still have more muscle fibers, right? Your muscle is denser, so all the estrogen you're taking to make you look and sound like a girl, well, not really look unless you're Asian. They can pull it off, I think, pretty decently. But the majority, I'm just gonna say look and sound like a girl, you still have man strength, so you can still defend yourself. That's one of the main things that I want you guys to take away from this. this is all of it take away from it, but it's one of the main things we got to take away from it. They can defend themselves. Women are literally defenseless, so they have to operate a lot more sneaky. They have to learn uh, social cues, social uh, situations, much more than men. And a trans woman just wouldn't pick that up. You ever heard of women's intuition? It's because it's dependent on their survival. They have to have that intuition because they need they 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 die if they don't. They'll perish if they don't. But a trans woman doesn't have to worry about that. So the next thing on the list, guys, for the nine reasons why trans women aren't real women, it's an obvious one, guys. They don't have to wear tampons. And do you know why? Hmm, hmm, because they don't bleed. That is why. Can you imagine talking to the men, getting like cotton or whatever it is, some fabric, and sticking it up there. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That must be uncomfortable. They have to learn to deal with that. If they don't, they, ble they bleed all over the place, right? Can you imagine that? Like, think of that, like, I me mean, as a man, I'm just thinking about that, like, that has to be, like, horrifying, especially when it first starts happening. Like, what the F, dude? Like, 
Can you imagine having to deal with that? Like, as a man? And see, like, men transitioning, transitioning, they don't have to think about that. And she's like, I'm cute now, I put the earrings on, I talk, all that stuff, that's not being a woman. It's not, I'm sorry, but it's not. I know you guys think that I don't like women, I'm always roasting women, but I love women. I fight for women, that's why I make these videos, is to protect women and open their eyes to the actual reality. All right, that's what that's what all my videos about is improvement for men and women, primarily men, but for women too. That's why I'm just, I, I go so hard on women because they're the most out of touch with reality. And here's the reality: trans women do not have to put cotton in their private parts. Okay, they don't have to do it. And then think about this, right? I've been thinking about this stuff, and you guys can call me weird, but I think about this stuff. So after they put it in there, right? They gotta take it out. I'm positive. I can promise you stuff coming out and they got to clean it up and they got to deal with that every month they got to deal with that every month think about that dude i be thinking about this stuff every month they got to deal with that sometimes i'm pretty sure it's grosser than others sometimes i'm sure the flow is heavier than others but trans women don't have to deal with that so you really want me to act like you're a real woman when you got to deal with something that nasty that's a part of being a woman that nasty stuff that they got to deal with that's a part of being a woman but they don't gotta deal with that. So how can you act like you're a woman? You know, if, you, if you're not doing that, how can you act like you're a woman? That's why women can tolerance for gross stuff is so high. Cause they gotta make sure that their hygiene is good. I'm not saying all women hygiene are good, but in a perfect world, a respectful woman, she gotta make sure her hygiene is good. It's way harder for a woman to keep her hygiene higher than a man. Cause she got more stuff to deal with. She got eggs and, you know, mostly just eggs, right? <laughs> to deal with, right? You know? She farting, queefing. She got all this stuff, that, all these bodily stuff. She got to keep track of, you know, under the under the breast, under the titty, is sweating and stuff, and in the high heat. Us men, we got our balls, our armpits. Pop, 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 pop. We we smelling good again. Put a little cologne on. We straight. But a woman, she got all this stuff to do. All this hair sweating on her neck. Her hair smelling bad now. Like it's hard being a chick, dude. It is. Not for the reasons that the feminists try to say, but for just the biological facts that a woman has to deal with. There was something that women don't even think about themselves, probably. This list isn't in any particular order, but the next thing is weight fluctuations. Women have to deal with weight fluctuations. When they are on their, on their monthly, their weight fluctuates. When they're, like, look, when they're even in a bad mood, their weight fluctuates, right? Women have to deal with weight fluctuations. They have a kid, weight fluctuations. Trans women, men, we don't have to deal with that. It's very little things, very little things that people aren't thinking about. They don't have to deal with that. A trans woman don't have to deal with that. So they have a psychological effect. They already don't understand themselves. They're already crazy. And then their weight's going up, their weight's going down, right? And then their sexual marketplace value, right, drops when, when they're big, right? Less guys want them, right? You, must, you better be a submissive chick. You better, you better treat your man like a king because it's not going to work. And women know this, though. Deep down inside, women know this. So it's like, oh, I'm getting big. I got to deal with this. And sometimes, not all cases, sometimes, it's not even the chick's fault why she's gaining so much weight. She just got to deal with it. So she has to learn a new way to adapt to her body. But trans women have to deal with that. I'm stating facts here, dude. I'm not saying it's okay to be big and all that stuff. I'm just stating facts of stuff that women have to go through. This is stuff that women have to go through. All right? Slow metabolism. Metabolism that of an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> you know? They have to eat differently. They have to do stuff differently. Because if they don't, they're going to gain weight. It's facts, dude. It's facts. But a trans woman, they don't have to deal with that. So the next one, I know I kind of already mentioned it about the cramps. But bloating, can, can we talk about bloating now? Right, nobody wants to talk about bloating. Chicks, at least, I'm not a woman, but from what I've been told, at least, by women, they feel like they got gas all the time. It's not even gas, because their eggs exploding or something like that. I don't know what it is, they don't even know what it is. But bloating, can we talk about that? They don't gotta deal with that. Nobody thinking about that. Nobody thinking about that. <laughs> okay, I actually just thought of another one too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna add it in this one too. I'm gonna add it in this one. So we're gonna go up to 10. 10 reasons, alright? Pregnancy. I know I said they can't get pregnant, but they don't have to actually deal with being pregnant. 
You got feet kicking inside you. You got bodies inside you. All right? Eating for two. You, you have to pee all the time. They don't got to deal with that. So they don't have to deal with the scare of getting pregnant. They don't have to deal with pregnancy itself. I know you guys are thinking like, but they can't get pregnant. That's my point. They don't got to deal with the actual act of being pregnant. It's hard being a woman sometimes, dude. In this regard, and what we're talking about here, it's hard being a woman. I'm, I'm going to say it like it is. I'm going to say it like it is. I know you guys see the comments. You hate women. I love women. I fight for women. I fight for women more than women do. Because I know what women want. Because women don't know what they want. But I know what women want. <laughs> I'm speaking facts here, dude. Like, I know some guys might get angry at what I'm saying because sometimes I put a woman on a pedestal. I keep saying it's difficult for them. But I'm just saying what it is to be a woman. I want to make sure that's very, very clear before I see comments like that. I'm saying from a woman's perspective and biologically, this is what women have to deal with. Women, if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But at least what I've been told, the research I've done, this is what y'all got to deal with. The last thing I want to say for this, and I know this is kind of a small one, but I want to add into the video. So the 10th thing, or the number one thing, whatever you guys want to go, I guess I was going down. So number one thing, not that it's the most important, but back pains from having just big breasts in general. I know people can say, oh, they can get breast implants, blah, 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 blah. That's some artificial sins against God stuff right there. I'm not counting that stuff. That stuff doesn't count to me. I don't care about that type of stuff. I'm talking about authentic women having to deal with pain for having breasts. All right, they have to deal with it. Now, if you get a breast implant, you did that to, you did that to yourself. That's on you. You did that to yourself. You wanted that pain. I'm not counting that. If you're like a masochist or something like that, that's on you. That's what you did. But biological women, right? They got to deal with big breasts. They they have a kid and get bigger breasts. And then they stuck with these big breasts and now they back hurt and they running breasts flopping around. They got to deal with that. That's what they actually have to deal with every day. Every day they got to deal with this type of stuff. All right. But I don't want this video to be too long. I wonder what you guys think. All right. I just want to make a quick little video about, you know, I guess now 10 reasons. So I'm going to make the title 10 reasons why, <laughs> uh, you know, trans women aren't, aren't women. All right, it's gonna be something like that. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get too angry, but I think I was pretty reasonable about this. If you wanna be a trans woman, I'll make sure that's clear to YouTube. If you wanna be a trans woman, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything bad with being a trans woman. I'm just saying that you cannot compare them to real women because real women have to go through way more stuff than trans women can ever comprehend or I could comprehend. That's what I'm saying. This video is for women. I fight for women. You guys may not see it, but I do. I really do. I care about women. I care about women in America primarily because it's an attack right now, guys. That's all I know. It's an attack on America and they came for our women. I'm fighting for our women. That's all I'm saying. I want to know you guys think about the video. I want to know you guys' opinion. Please leave a comment if you're a woman. Please leave a comment. If you, if you think I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Get me. Get me. Drag me, as you guys like to say. Spill the tea, as women will say. But before you guys go, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and comment. Help me get my video out there in this so without further ado, that's going to be it for the video member. I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident and thank you for watching.